Welcome to List Off. I'm Ozzy. And I'm Matt. And this week we'll be counting down our top five eggs. And we should probably explain that some more. Are we going to do this? No. Do about egg puns? Egg puns? No, probably not. I mean, they'll just come up, won't they? You won't be able to. I don't think I'll be able to uh, resist an egg pun if one. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stretch them. I'm not gonna stretch to a pun. Not gonna... I think if one is laying off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That wasn't even on purpose. Yikes! If I've got one laying there, I will. Uh, I might say it. Um, Graham Murphy said he's given us lots of good ideas and he said ways to eat eggs and we're kind of we're kind of doing that but we've made it specifically really the ways to cook eggs like the regular ways that you would cook eggs so it's not like oh I like an egg in a in my pancake mixture it's it's eggs you, you're in a cafe you're in a restaurant how would you like your eggs it's those kind yeah. of options it's it's that kind it's, of thing exactly how would you like your eggs more than egg recipes because we sort of figured that if you do that, you could kind of probably have five sticking with exactly the same type of egg, just different varieties of the same type of cooked egg. Yeah. So I'll be bringing in. So what we're we doing instead, we'll be giving a top five of different way, different types of cooked eggs, and then explaining what I like and the different varieties that give it that sort of how it earns its points, your different egg based meals that you can have uh, with the be- essentially the best egg meals given the type of cooked egg it is yeah how do you feel about eggs generally i've been i wouldn't say i'm a huge egg fan but i say i was an egg fan more recently i've been a bit off eggs because i'm supposed to eat less salt mm-hmm. uh, that that does take some of the fun out of eggs for me uh which I'll explain later, but um, I mean I'm a big fan of eggs, and uh, I've done my egg research as well because you know I like to do my egg research. Mm-hmm. The chicken probably was des- domesticated for its eggs from jungle fowl native to tropical and subtropical Southeast Asia and the Indian subcontinent before seven thousand five hundred BCE. Pretty cool, long time ago. So eggs have been around for a long time, and I was reading the thing which was saying that before eggs ch- chicken eggs got to greece they mostly in ancient greece they mostly relied on quail eggs i was thinking what a pain like you know what i mean like trying to get a meal of eggs of course out of a quail quail eggs you'd need tons you know absolutely tons and they're a pain to peel whatever no i just no it's, it's very very convenient chicken egg best egg yeah ducks geese ostrich Mm. i've never had an ostrich egg actually i used to like those things when you'd see them uh, on tv when i was a child they would just fry a giant egg um i'm a big egg fan i eat too many eggs i think i genuinely eggs are something i worry about the amount of eggs i eat you think you're a bit extravagant i think i'm extravagant and i think i might die of cholesterol or something like i feel like it's one of them things that you go I do have a lot of eggs and I like eggs. And some days I realize I look back and go, I think I've had two egg based meals today. That's a lot of eggs. It's a lot of eggs. I'm a huge egg fan. I like the different varieties of egg. I am an egg man. Um, for sure. I'm, I'm all about the eggs. I have too many. I think it might be a problem with me. So I worry about it. I um I put a little egg and spoon behind me because uh, mm-hmm. I like to hide for the for the YouTube crew. I like to hide a few little relevant props behind me, and I wanted to put a record. I normally have a record on the front of the stack of records there, which has got something related. And I was trying to think of a record with with a with an egg on the front, and there's a CTI jazz record by I think Wilbert Longmire, which has a big fried egg on the front, but it's not a good record and I don't own it. So I couldn't get that. And then I thought there's a yeah, yeah, yeah's album where it's like hand smashing an egg or I don't know. It's like egg smashing. Oh, yeah. It's like the yeah, third or fourth right. album. Anyway, I was convinced I had that on vinyl. Can't find it. So it's entirely possible that I don't have it. So 
There's no egg record back there. I just okay. I thought about putting Herbie Hancock's album um, in Period Isles. There's a great song in it called "The Egg," and I thought that would be what? pretty niche. But if someone spotted it, what a great, uh, what a great treat for them. Yeah, it's quite a small Venn diagram of. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I always think that stuff's worth doing. Oh. I mean, if oh. only for one person, it's always a nice treat for them. Yeah, I feel bad for not having an egg record. Somebody will point out a really obvious one, and then yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's lots of egg-based pun records, <clears throat> but that it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry, guys. Thanks. I'll kick us off. I think. Bye. My number five best egg, top five egg, mm -hmm. would be baked, baked egg, sitting on a pizza or preferably on a kind of oven dish, something you stick in the oven, you know, like a, like a one tray kind of oven baked thing, something like that with an egg on the top. I like that kind of very warm, I don't know what you say, it's a smooth texture and flavor you get from when the eggs baked. I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. It's not something I have a lot of, but when I thought about it, I was like, but I do like that. Do you sometimes get it with like, um, uh, like as a little treat, like a little bit of with something else? I think I've seen like recipes where people have it as like, you might have it in a little dish with like maybe some sort of salami or something or some kind of pepperoni type thing with it. Not yeah, exactly I, pepperoni. Chorizo or something. Kind of thing, chorizo. Yeah, I think I think definitely it's uh, it has that. That kind of warm feeling goes with something nice, a little bit spicy. Very good, you know. It's and you know, it's 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 a different thing. It's not one of the obvious ones, but I think it's a. a I think it's a solid entry. A good egg. Yes. I'll uh, spoilers now. It's not on my list, but I do like. I do like when it's when it's an option as a pizza topping. I find it difficult to not have it. Although I do enjoy a little bit of uh, meat on my pizza. So if it's a vegetarian pizza with an egg, I'd probably think twice. It'd have to have like tons of olives on it or something for me to go, okay, I'll have that. But like in general, if it has a bit of ham or some kind of lardon or something, something bacony with it, absolutely. I do love a, an egg on a pizza. I'm a big fan of it. It's, always, it's also a treat, isn't it, that when you see it come out, well, it looks great. It's a yeah. real visual. It it's a great visual on a pizza. It's something my dad always used to order when I was a kid, and I'd always be like, that's crazy. You know, that's blowing my mind. You're weird. But no, that is, it's fine. It's good. And it's also, they kind of cook in quite an interesting way because they're quite, I mean, ostensibly they look almost fried, but they do have a kind of softness in, um, in even the white, I yeah. find. It's quite nice, quite appealing. Um, I probably should like there should, probably should be some sort of warning for people who can't bear eggs, but I figure they're not, just not watching this. Yeah, I mean, like it, I it, know for it, some people they just can't hack it. That's you true. Can't hack a, an egg description. That's entirely true. It's definitely a thing that some people just can't be doing with. Um, but that's sort of true for almost all food as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I find eggs and mushrooms are the two I think of that some people just have a real like kind of proper aversion to. Mm, I think it's mushrooms. texture wise, but to me, yeah, I'm, I'm fully, fully sold on the eggs and the mushrooms together. Great. Best pals. <laughs> What's your number five? My number five is the omelet. Um, solid, solid egg dish, the omelet. Literally like solid omelet. egg. Literally solid egg. Yeah. You bet. I like it. I sort of, I'll kind of come back to the omelette as I go along, but I do particularly like an omelette. My favorite thing to go with an omelette is bacon. Bacon chopped omelet. up in the omelette. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, anything that has a sort of, you know, something a bit like a kind of salty meat, I think is the best thing to go with an omelette. Mm -hmm. um, but it's almost like one of the, 
the the absolute simple foods and also one of the best um i don't know what to have for dinner i can have an omelet in like three minutes Mm -hmm. i'm gonna have an omelet uh and also when i have an omelet i'm a big fan of having either toast or uh bread and butter to have an omelet sandwich which i also feel an omelet sandwich is one of the king sandwiches uh, we'll probably go into this further when we do top five sandwiches, but it is one of one of the best sandwiches you can have. An omelette sandwich. Is it not a name for it? Is it not something that has a proper name? An omelette sandwich. Probably, it might be a croc. Croc something. monsieur. That's got a lot of cheese in it. I think that's cheese. That's cheese. But it yeah. might be another croc. Croc. Yeah. A croc oof. Croc oof. Yeah. That's a that's an egg inside a overly practical outdoor shoe made of very light plastic. <laughs> um, what else would you stick in an omelet? Like, would you do you do you, do you like onion I, I, in there? I, would you have would you have some chives in there? If you if you're in a, you know, if you're in a cafe or something, and they're like, "What do you want in it?" If you're in a hotel and they said, "What do you want in it?" and you go crazy, oh, I'd have I'd have all that. I think I wouldn't have, even though there's a time and a place for it. I wouldn't have any. Um, grated potato and make it a kind of frittata right right like that's a different thing i i've got a lot of time for it i feel like you're straying not knocking it egg thing then i feel like exactly that's, that's almost like a um um, um an, another dish made with egg i think it's another dish the egg so i wouldn't go dominant. Potato. uh but actually yeah if i was in a hotel i'd have some chives in it and things go for your life i think mushrooms often when i have an, an omelet though when i make omelets myself they are quite a heavy omelet but I think if you can get an omelette in a restaurant that's quite light, it does feel like, I think there's tons of egg science that we'll probably uh, touch on uh, mm-hmm. today, but there's tons of egg science where you think of the amount of times I've cooked eggs and there's still lots, there's still lots to learn about egg science, but like occasionally I do have like an omelette somewhere else. And often you go, this is lighter than my omelets, mm-hmm. but I don't quite know what they're doing um yeah I'm for very, example i'm very bad at cooking omelets i would have one out but i wouldn't have one at home Mm-mm. that's a good i think that's a good thing i know um our friend stan i think will often make things like scramble i think he always has eggs at home and i think often makes things like i think he was saying like he would never ever order something in a restaurant that he can make at home in, that he could make at home mm, I see that, and i yeah. kind of understand that but I do think it's often interesting to go. How do you, what's a what's a restaurant style version of this? Yeah. How will you and and something light to it? I remember once when I first met a previous friend of the show, Haley Campbell. She was, I think, trying to make an omelette, but she was trying. She was essentially making scrambled eggs. So I think she was trying to make an omelette, but with milk in as well. And she was like, "It always becomes scrambled eggs," and it's like no milk no milk in an omelet yeah, but there must be something it. i think it must be bits of like water or something added to it i don't really i don't add any water i don't know what the what the thing is to make a lighter whiskey a lighter omelet oh no maybe it is some people know i'm not an omelet expert at all this is not on my list spoilers an egg white omelet we're just saying on that idea i'm out i don't waste <clears> the time the only thing Absolute waste want, of time. the only thing that i want maybe just egg white is a pavlova or other you know uh meringue based things but preferably a pavlova i'll go for that but that's not allowed on the list i suppose a souffle is a baked egg as well right that's baked egg dish although i yeah. guess it's becoming its own thing then isn't it mm. it's not quite it's, it's, yeah this is this is this is this is how we got onto our list guys you'll see you'll see now but that's my number five omelette <laughs> My number four is fried sunny side up. I don't want it sunny side down. I don't want it, you know, I don't want it, I don't want it over easy. I don't want it over hard. That's the worst. You know, when like I had that in America where they like flip it over probably twice, the whole thing is brown on the outsides and it's cooked right through. No, I do not want that. I'm not getting crazy about a fried egg, but I like it as part of a, a full breakfast, you know, the, the least some bacon or something, 
you know, some beans, you can make a mess, get it, cut it up nice to eat. That's when I, I like it. I used to have it quite a bit when I was a kid. My dad likes a fried egg. So I have like nice associations with it, but very, I probably never cook it at home ever. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of frying at home. Cause it just means like you have clothes that smell of frying for the rest of the day. So I'm not a huge fan of frying stuff in general, but if you have it out as part of a, you know, an English breakfast or something, I'm like, yeah, fried eggs good. It's very, it transforms. That's one of the amazing things about eggs, right? The way they transform from their uncooked state to their cooked state. This is just true of all cooking pretty much, but particularly mm-hmm. with eggs, it's like, that's crazy. So absolutely. I mean, that's part of the science of it. That's part of the great thing about an egg is the way it cooks and the different varieties it can be cooked. I love the egg science. The amount of times they must have just come up with another way to cook an egg. Like I'd love to, that's the kind of history I'd really like to see. The guys who are like, I've got another one. I've got another way to cook this egg. Yeah. Um, uh, it's probably a good time to say that my number four is also the fried egg sunny side up yeah. specifically <laughs> absolute match and for all the reasons you said um on its own i don't think it's a great thing but i do quite enjoy a fried egg sandwich uh the thing is yeah like you you're over easy fried both sides is a waste of time you might as well have an omelet like yeah. if i wanted that you'd have an omelet mcdonald's do that when they have their egg um uh not mcmuffin what's it called the one the sort of bagel sandwich okay. when that they call it an egg but it's basically an omelet they've 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 gone well if we're going to do that it's an omelet it's probably it's in a pointless. press in mcdonald's it's probably in a press like, yeah, I don't know like how a they trouser make it. press they just trouser press it and they're like Pfft, ready <laughs> um i once saw in a in a cafe someone made scrambled eggs by uh putting the egg mixture with the milk into the uh, hot water steamer and made them that way. And I was like, what, oh, it's fine. And they blurted out of the end. No, it basically in seconds created scrambled eggs. And I was like, that's impressive. But I feel sorry for whoever next has a tea or coffee yeah. in the steamer. That's what I, I thought was wrong. That should be I was that like, I'm all right with it. But that's like, their last day at work. That's not all right. Yeah, I, I thought I thought it worked like it was a, it was an impressive like it's like the day you find out you can uh, cook eggs, scrambled eggs in a microwave and you go, wow, you can cook scrambled eggs in a microwave. Then you have them and go, sure, but I'll never do it again. <laughs> like it's like um, it takes about as long. Yeah, like it's well, not as nice. It's not much quicker than scrambling eggs. I mean, exactly. But it's a fun the fun the day you realize you can do that. It's a great another bit of egg science. The day you know, realize you can blast a scrambled egg, you can basically uh, a gamma ray, incredible hulker, some scrambled eggs up. That's like, that's a great day. It's a great visual. Yeah, but you wouldn't like but, it as much when it's mad. No, it's mad. It doesn't taste as good. It tastes yep. weird. Um, no need for it. And he also, I think it kind of comes up as like, do you not get it like, um, I think you almost get it as like a hard thing that you basically then mush up to, to make yeah. this. No, no. Get out no time of town. for it. Get out of town. No time for it. But yeah, exactly the same reasons. I love. Uh, I like a fried egg, um, even in a sandwich, knowing that it might end up spilling down my shirt or something. You still want that runny yolk on the top. I still Boom. want the runny yolk. Still want it. And that's it. That's the. It's like you suffer for it. It's the kind of. Um, it's the Calippo theorem. <laughs> I know that at some point the Calippo will have melted enough. It's, I can't get any out. Can't get any out. Oh, it's now melted too much, and I know there'll be a point in the clippo where I'll tip a bit down my shirt, and I go, "Ah, oh, I've tipped clippo down myself." But it doesn't stop me eating a clippo, even if it's impossible to eat. I still want the runny yolk. I will take the chances of spilling some yolk down myself because I want that. There's absolutely. I mean, that is the strength of the sunny side up is because the over easy is absolutely pointless. And and same, otherwise I would say that fried egg sandwich is the only kind of true great dish on its own you can have with a fried egg sandwich, but it's a strong one, but you're right. It's sort of with the sort of fried breakfast, something to dip in, dip well, a bit of toast in or something. Where would you stand absolutely on like uh, the uh, 
used to be very common. You don't see it so much these days, but and like an egg and chips. Oh, I'm quite fond of it. I mean, yeah. I never have it. I never have it. But it's the kind of thing that if I see it on a menu, I'd probably be like, yeah, I'll have egg and chips. And also, basically, if I watch, as I watch a lot of, as you can imagine, I watch a lot of kind of kitchen sink British movies from the 60s. Yeah. And so I see lots of people eating egg and chips. You see probably and that's, free egg and chips a week or something. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. I reckon the amount, yeah, <laughs> the amount of movies I watch and the type of movies, I see it. I never actually have it, but every time I see someone eating egg and chips in an old British movie from the 60s, I salivate and go, oh, man, those are the days. You go, egg well, and oh, chips. Oh, where's the nearest happy eater? <laughs> well, I have an egg and chips. <laughs> oh, is Starburger still open? Yeah. Like, where's, where, I've got a Google Starburger. You, know you can get so egg and chips. Some you, egg can and get, chips. you can definitely get egg and chips in any seaside town in the yeah, UK. I reckon there's a cafe around the corner from me, and it might not be on the menu, but if I said egg and chips, they'd be like, yeah, yeah. Only if they're doing chips anyway, though. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. No, they'd have chips. Okay, they'd have okay. chips on there because they do things like burgers and chips. Okay, right. Because a lot of places that just do kind of breakfasty stuff, they're not going to have any of that. No, no, so, no, yeah. no, no, no. My number three is the scrambled egg. The scrambled egg. And I'm talking relatively firm for me, not wet scrambled eggs. The mm -hmm. better you are at cooking them, the less firm I can take it. I'm like, okay, you're good. You're good. All right. I personally, if I'm cooking them at home, I'm not adding milk or only the tiniest amount of milk because I think it detracts from the egginess of the flavor. You're just bulking right. it, right? So for me, it's all about the butter. You're going to be cooking it in a lot of butter. The more butter, the yummier and smoother and mm, really good. So I'm, I'm, that's how I keep it. Scrambled eggs, I especially like having if you're somewhere where it's good, where you know it's a it's a cafe, whatever you're having lunch, you're having brunch, or you're having whatever that kind of thing, and it's somewhere where you think it's going to be good. Then I'm like, yeah, I might have scrambled because you're going to do a good scrambled, you know. And like if you have it in like in America, they'll they'll do really good scrambled, and you'll get a lot of it. Like, and they even you know like if you have like in a Mexican place in America, it'll be like they'll have all stuff mixed in with the scrambled egg, and it's good, a bit spicy or something really good so if i think it's going to be good i'm like give it a scrambled because that's going to be yes. good you know but like the bad side of a scrambled egg is it's the least efficient way of having eggs because you can eat a you can you could have one whatever what one boiled egg or what whatever it's a, that's a big lump of thing but it takes you like about one million eggs to make enough scrambled egg <laughs> like they just disappear when you're cooking them so you know i'm doing like scrambled egg for the kids it's like how many for two small children i don't know about 30 you know just to get like <laughs> a decent a decent plate of scrambled eggs it's like where did they all go i put in i literally know how much mass i put into this thing and it comes out as like how did it condense so much the See, baffling I think, I think one of the things i've realized i'm coming across here is the way you describe your scrambled eggs feel like they might make my top five. But I think in my own scrambled eggs, they're not in my top five. <laughs> I feel that your scrambled eggs are probably a lot better than mine. They sound sounds great. But I would say for me and the amount of milk I have, two scrambled eggs, two eggs is what I have for a scrambled egg for like a morning yeah. covering, covering a toast. Mm -hmm. I'd say that's two two eggs yeah would cover a toast two eggs to me is uh, disappointing man but it, when, when they're scrambled two eggs in, in any other way is like that's the good amount of eggs cool i'm done mm -hmm. good thank you you know two eggs scrambled to me always comes out like oh, i wish i'd done five you know because <laughs> if it's tasty as well yeah yeah, yeah. it's also no, the I fussiest think... one to eat because you've got to eat it fast because it loses its temperature quickly like mm -hmm. really quick and then it gets a lot less nice. So I, I do, when I'm cooking it for the kids or something, I find that quite stressful. I'm like, make sure I've got everything on the table first so that when I put their scrambled eggs down and I can put my scrambled eggs down, I can start eating mine right away without having to like take one to the toilet, get the other one to wash their hands, get them another drink of milk and all the millions of things that they need. So I'm like, make sure you've got everything ready because I don't want to have cold scrambled eggs. It's just, meh. In um, 
I guess it's similar to... I was going to say, in those American movies when you see someone making scrambled eggs, I always go, mine don't look like that. Yeah. And they feel like, those American movies, they feel like they're 30 eggs worth. When you see that, oh, yeah. what they bring out, you go, God, what is that? It I looks it, incredible. I love it when you see someone in a, in a calf just making scrambled eggs and they've got like a like a frying pan that's that big, you know, like like like... 20 inches wide frying pan and they're doing the whole thing full of scrambled eggs and you're going that's that's another yeah, that's level something. that's like that's like one of those whole pallets of eggs yeah. exactly that's the uh, the other time i think is when you see them in like a a premiere in breakfast buffet and they look different again it's like what is this like powdered egg or something oh, how when, are you like yeah, what when is... it's just sitting there and it hasn't yeah it hasn't dried out and it has it's just yes. been kept warm i don't it's tend... like it's like they do them in like little they're like little balls yeah. or something. I don't know what the deal. It's like, like something's going on there. It feels like, like you've you've enhanced them with something. I they've don't been think cut with something. I think they've been cut with bubble tea. That's what they yeah, remind me something's of. Something's going on. Something's been going on there. Yeah, yeah there's. A, I think we're going to have to blow the whole lid off that racket. We should do like a investigative journalism. Um, I I rarely stay in um, very fancy hotels, but I've heard people mention egg stations. In fancy hotels there's someone who mans an egg station oh yeah so is that like you can basically is that what this is you go there and go ah where i've been where mm -hmm. they've had that and i did stay in a hotel and had eggs on friday morning yeah i had scrambled um yeah where i've had that it's been like we've got you know boiled eggs hard and soft mm -hmm. under a dome you know probably resting on some salt I don't know why they do that when you say under a dome you know like a metal dome to keep them warm sort of thing you know like a what like a tiny cloche like, no, like it's a, a whole of... load of them in a nest underneath oh okay they're hanging right. out they're like having a oh I was really like the idea of a tiny cloche no not an thing where someone just comes out and goes dome. your <laughs> egg sir and then <laughs> then between thumb and forefinger takes off a tiny cloche off the top of your egg oh do you know what if you're a fancy hotel absolutely get on that i'm gonna see that's if worth that's an paying for thing i'll do that next time you stay over at my house i'll be like yes so please your egg uh, you can't have two we've only got one um i think after this we need to uh when we get this episode comes out and it gets mm -hmm. on the social media i think we need to get hashtag tiny cloche uh trending on twitter let's <laughs> get this cloche. let's get this on the uh let's get this show on the road and while we're at it we're gonna we're gonna infiltrate some egg stations and find out what so, they're pulling in so the premier inns with if you that. wanted a poached or a, or an omelet mm -hmm. or probably fried mm -hmm. in a posher one you're, you're going to ask for them and they're going to be like okay cool I'll, I'll i'll bring that over or we'll do it while you stand there or whatever you know so that's 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 the kind of thing so some will be ready to go fried eggs can be ready to go but i think that's a less posh establishment i think if you're posh enough to have a guy ready to do your omelette for you you're probably going to do the the uh, fried eggs fresh rather than have them on like a warming tray so he likes just starts it off does he and you have a little chat with the egg man yeah you talk to the egg man he's like what do you want in there i can throw anything in obviously he's like french because he works in the kitchen sure um, and he's like, i'd love yeah. to have a chat with an egg man yeah he just chats to you all about the different egg types oh you're the egg man I i'm the walrus like <laughs> wait, 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 what, can I have some? Uh, What's how would you cook this? Yeah, oh, we could. I could ask him all the questions that have come up this week in my egg-based thinking. Yeah, all right. He's the man to talk to. Maybe we need to. We should get him on and interview an egg man. That is <laughs> egg things, and then sort of go. What's the deal with the um, scrambled eggs in the Premier Inn? Yeah, and it'll be something. It's something to do with Lenny Henry, I reckon. Like, uh, it somehow, you're not an expert like me. Yeah, you must, uh, you must study many years. An expert. Yeah. Yeah. What's your number three? My number three. Oh, is a hard boiled egg. Oh, a hard boiled egg. A hard boiled egg. Now, tell you for why. There's two things I like that you get with a hard boiled egg um one is another thing that makes people go weak egg mayonnaise love egg mayonnaise no! i thought i thought that would be your action uh number two the scotch egg absolutely two 
absolute smashes you get from the hard boiled egg. I don't mind a hard boiled egg on its own. And I'm sometimes attracted to the hard boiled egg that you just get in Pret a Mondre. Like, oh, sure, maybe we can see the hard boiled egg. That almost sits in its own little cloche, doesn't it? No, not a little cloche. That just that's in its own like like punnet. Like a clear punnet. No, I'm thinking like a no. cloche that you know, you could just reveal an egg underneath. I knew it was clear, on perhaps yeah, I'm thinking okay. like a I'm I'm picturing like an egg cup with a cloche on top. And, matching, and someone yeah. comes out. Yeah. Then someone comes out and reveals it. No eggs, sir. <laughs> oh that's I mean that to me is class. <laughs> <laughs> That is true class, isn't so you, it? So you own a hard boiled egg. Like are you one of those people who would have a hard boiled egg in a pack lunch? Uh no, I probably wouldn't go that far. Um I'm I'm even thinking when I was a kid. Like I but I would probably have an egg mayonnaise sandwich as a kid in a pack lunch. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I'd do that now. If I make a, if I'm making myself a lunch, I'd mm -hmm. have a, an egg mayonnaise sandwich would be my go to if I was making one. I always remember kids at school eating packed lunch and some of them just pulling out like a, a peeled hard boiled a peeled egg, egg and just being like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just always like, nah, no, 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 I'm not against it. I think, I I'm, I think it. I'm against it. I think that's what it yeah. is. I think I'm against it. And I think it's probably one of the most popular foods in the world. Just eating a hard boiled egg like that. But no, I, I mean, I, I'm saying like, I'm not against it, but I think it's weird. But I'd quite, you know, I can imagine like a kid eating an egg, a hard boiled egg, feels like poor kid. Oh, what's going on? Yes. Like I feel like there's the, the, that cut to him being uh, kicked or something. <laughs> like I feel like he's getting uh, his bags ending up on a roof or something. Like it's just like, oh. yeah. but um, they're a bit but, smelly. Um, they're a bit smelly hard boiled eggs. Sure, and that's that is. The, I'm not a big fan of smelly food. I mean, and I'm not really someone that eats a lot of uh, fish and stuff. So I'm like, like to me, when when someone has like tuna, I'm like, oh come on, that's socially unacceptable. And yeah, I know I'd probably be a bit like, well, if you're going to do that, I'm going to have an egg mayonnaise. That's the deal, pals. <laughs> this is how wars start. It. This is how wars start. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. <laughs> yeah, eye is the German for egg. There, so that's quite good. Um, I yeah don't favour the hard boiled egg. Really not a fan. I used to have them. One thing I do like about them though is the way that the yolk can separate as a whole ball from the uh, from the white. I've always been impressed with that. I think that's oh like, yeah, that's like and it, and, and I got the yolk. Absolutely, yeah, that's lovely. Although I'd say when I was a kid, I thought the yolk was the hardest bit to get through. It was always the kind of, oh, I know, oh, I know. But as an adult, I think it really comes into its own in a scotch egg. The yolk, the yolk plus egg white plus sausage meat plus breadcrumb is an absolutely incredible snack. Um, and I call it a snack, even though when you buy them, they often describe themselves as a small meal. And you go, <laughs> sort of. A small sort of meal. Small meal. And that was that thing, wasn't it, recently with the coronavirus thing in pubs? They would argue whether a Scotch egg counted as a meal or not. On the packets, they meal. often describe themselves as a small meal. I would call it an edible planet. That's what I'd put on <laughs> yeah. it, on the packaging. Egg White's <laughs> proper name are, is uh, Albumen. And, yeah, I knew uh, it was something like that. The is Vitellus. And uh, I don't know the proper name for sausage meat, but... Um, you know. <laughs> it probably is. Maybe Pro that is just sausage meat. Sausage. Yeah, you're right. That, that's very pleasing there. Um, it's very much like uh, the uh, stone in an avocado or something. Yeah, it comes it's out that like... Kind of, and, it's... and it leaves that kind of... I mean, in a way, I also think of it like um, that that would have been a better description of the mouse that you'd have on a computer that doesn't really look like a mouse. You sort of go... Call it like a hard boiled egg. It's yeah, got yeah. a little ball in it that you can wheel about. You know, it's probably more of a, or that'd be weird to go, ah, my hard boiled egg is broken. Yeah, but it's something. weird saying my mouse is broken prior to. It is true. I mean, I'm old enough to have found it funny that they were called mice. Mm, me too. A bit of more history. 
1911, the egg carton was invented by Joseph Coyle in Smithers, British Columbia, to solve a dispute about broken eggs between a farmer in Bulky Valley and the owner of the Aldermere Hotel. The so what was formed? The what was formed? When you say what your bit of information at the start, what was formed in 1911? The, the egg carton was invented. Egg carton? Yeah. Oh, the that you carry an eggs in? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Great carton. It's a great uh, carton. Absolutely great carton. Classic carton. Top five I like cartons. I like how our eggs are their dozen and half dozen. Yeah. Although now I don't like supermarkets are like six or twelve. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Dozen half dozen. I find sure. it very disturbing when some brands like some of these sort of supermarket brands and stuff do ten now. Like you can't buy yes. ten eggs. It's crazy. Yes. You'll have some left over. It's like the Weetabix thing all over again. I think I think the plastic egg cartons are very sad. That kind of brittle plastic with the angles. They're just about the most eighties thing in the world. Yes. And, yeah. Uh, not into them. Uh, and also work as a soundproofing, if you believe, uh, uh, shows on TV from the 80s that would have people have their own pirate radio stations. Every, uh... every home studio I ever been in had egg cartons all over the walls. But the big trays you get if you work in like the trade, not like yeah, 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 not yeah, not yeah. not your supermarket ones or your ones you get from your from your farm. I do like in the countryside when you get like honesty box eggs for sale at the end of farm tracks and stuff where it's like you know pop a pound in and take your eggs very nice lovely my number two is the poached egg and it's the poached egg that is not cooked by me specifically because i am bad at cooking poached eggs i would like a poached egg that is prepared for me by my partner she's just good at it she has a solid hit rate with poached eggs. I would like a poached egg in a in a in a cafe, in a hotel, in a restaurant. You know, definitely love it on a muffin, some nice toast. Great, love a poached egg, but not when I'm cooking it because I'm rubbish at it. And that's not, there's not many things I'm like that about. I'm generally like, oh, I like it the way I, I make it. That I make it the best way. Other people do it wrong. Poached eggs, terrible. I'm really bad at it. Mm. And so I just don't cook them myself ever. Um, I am 100% the same. Oh, nice. And I would say that I, I don't think I've ever successfully cooked a poached egg. Uh, I love the idea of it. Again, I love the egg science of it. Never, never been able to make it work always ends up with me being a bit upset and angry uh can't do it um and like when i was compiling the list i was thinking well poached won't even make the top five and as i've often found when i do list stuff i learn things about myself and it's also my number two <laughs> because i can't like whenever i have it with something out again yeah can't make it myself yeah but if i have a poached egg somewhere Oh, I love it. I love a poached egg out. I love the kind of the sort of cutting it slightly with the fork, mm. letting it kind of letting the yolk bleed out of it. Mm. Absolutely love it. I love an eggs Benedict. I love an eggs Florentine. I love all of the uh, uh, the accoutrement that comes with it. All the different bits of uh, um, spinach and the hollandaise. Of course, how do you feel about hollandaise? I don't like hollandaise now. I that. thought you might not. Yeah, not I'm not a big sauce person in general. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, give it to me, not raw, but give it to me straight. You know? Yeah. Um, hollandaise, I guess, is another thing like mayonnaise, which is egg mayonnaise and hollandaise is egg plus egg, right? Yep. You're having totally egg in an egg sauce. Yeah. So I can see how it's weird. Yeah, but... But you say that, but we don't say that about gravy on meat. You know what I mean? It's sure. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. That's true. Um, I made a good argument for it there. Did you ever, because my parents poached eggs when I was a kid and they had the little poacher, you know, like, and it was a completely different thing to what you'd call a poached egg in the trendy cafe nowadays. It was like, you know, molded the shape of a McDonald's egg, you know, 
kind of oh, yeah, the yeah. rounded bottom kind of thing in a, in a little pan with water and stuff and you put the tiny little pan thing on the hob and then crack the egg into the top and you'd get a poached egg that way so that's the poached eggs i grew up with um and i haven't had one for i don't know 25 years but it was quite a revelation finding out about like kind of your modern your modern poached egg just cooked in a whirlpool in a whirlpool with a little bit of vinegar or whatever magic tricks people use that was quite like oh this is good you know yeah when i see and it is it is magic it is magic um when i when, when i think about it i almost specifically thinking of the poached eggs i get during the edinburgh festival at city cafe on uh, is it nidri street i think uh they are like i i think about that a lot when i'm not there i'm always kind of uh have a hankering after them eggs very yes. consistent poached eggs they have there as well so when you're in edinburgh nice, when you're in edinburgh for the festival you're always um thinking of yolks oh yes that's what a spaniard would say um <laughs> i like marmite with my eggs and that's why I've gone a bit off eggs recently because Marmite's too salty for me. I'm not really allowed to have much Marmite and that's really taken yet. So if, if I'm having a poached egg, I would like to have it on some toast with Marmite or muffin with Marmite. Fantastic. But, you know, I still can, but it's not, it's not so good. And that's a sad thing for me. So it's well, things like, again, let's have it on asparagus instead. Okay, cool. I am not a Marmite fan at all. I can't hack it. But I'm a big salty fan. And I think you're right, though. I think eggs without salt are a bit like, what's the point? Do you like put like a kind pinch of... on the top kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Grind a bit of salt on the top or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, that's the thing. Like, never more do I feel more like a, a really terrible chef when cooking scrambled eggs is that I'm always putting like pepper in and stuff. But imagining like, um, I, I, like I pretty much see myself as like a proper uh michelin starred chef at that point mm, bit of pepper just adding a little tiny bit of pepper as some um, scrambled eggs are cooking never do i feel more chef like yeah. or when the, the only other time that works is where i'll be uh have some soup on the hub and i'll try a bit oh, yeah. even though i'm just waiting for it to cook that i'm not makes, doing anything to that it. makes you feel it's like when i'm cooking uh lots of things uh if I'm frying anything like with a hot pan or using a wok or even barbecuing, I always like to have a uh, tea towel at my back pocket. Like I'm a, oh, like, a nice. like I'm a crip. Do you know what I mean? I'm like a kitchen crip. <laughs> crip walking around my kitchen, you know, and I'll be like, whoosh, bring it out and, you know, use it to do something nice. I could have done with something else. So yeah, I like that's, that's my like chef affectation. Yeah. It's good to have one. So I guess we both got the same two. We got the same two. It looks like we're gonna have the same number one, surely. Maybe. I mean there's some other there's some other ones left. If you sure. got if you've got pickled egg number one, I mean I'm not sure we can carry on. <laughs> um <laughs> we don't know at this point. We don't know. This Schrodinger's egg at this point. <laughs> Schrodinger couldn't lay an egg. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> He's not a bird or a reptile or a fish. I think that's we it. don't know. We could go different ways here. A dinosaur. Of our number ones. You do, we all, also, my number one could be one of the ones you've already said. True. My number one Why? is a boiled egg. It's a boiled egg with soldiers, mm -hmm. like what children have. Um, you can do a boiled egg and just cut it open and pretend it and then peel it and then cut it open and pretend it's like a poached egg. Mm. But you're not really you're not really doing it justice. I, I want no. I, I want the uh, I want the dippers. It was dippers in my house, not soldiers, because we're not from a very military, you know, tradition in my house. I grew up in a commune. There was no no soldiers. It would have been <laughs> very much demilitarized breakfast zone. Um, so yeah, we had the, the boiled egg with dippers and. I think when I was a kid, it was like butter, then butter and Marmite. And as I grew up, I shunned the butter. You know, it's one of those things about me. I like butter pretty much only when it's melted. So on toast, it's cool. But I I would never mix it with Marmite. No, sir. So if I'm having Marmite, which I am, I, I, I leave the butter out. That's fine. Marmite is enough. So 
toast, white toast, but could be, if it's really crusty bread of certain sorts, it doesn't even need to be toasted. If it can hold its form enough to dip, that could be great too. Really fresh, delicious. And I'm going to cook it for five minutes and 20 seconds, give or take, depending on the size of the egg. That's what I was going to say. That's where people come unstuck. Five minutes and 20 is what I'm going to say for a medium egg, right? I do. I try and cook a large egg and I think I do. Now, do I do five or six currently? It's always tough. A large egg at five is going to be pretty runny white. Mm. You know, I think you're right. I think I do six. The magic is somewhere between five and six. Mm. Unless it's a really small egg, five is going to be a little... I would say al dente, but it's the opposite, al pacino. You know, it's going to be like, you know, runny white. And you don't want the white running like it's the yolk. You want the white to be the white and the yolk to be the yolk. Delicious. Um, My number one is exactly the same thing. Soft boiled egg. This is a travesty. We've basically crossed over completely on this list, apart from the first two. Yeah, this is all right. This is all right. Again, it just proves that it's the best egg to have. And generally because of the soldiers. And the reason I picked it was if like in a kind of a scenario where it's like, what are you never allowed to have ever again? Mm. It's like, I'd, I'd be like, all oh, right, well, I'll have a soft boiled egg with soldiers. And that's the one. Well, that's your desert yeah. island dish kind of thing no it's my desert island egg dish okay right i was gonna say that would be impressive maybe yeah. i could pitch that to radio Four. desert island dishes. Desert island egg dish <laughs> desert island egg dish i don't know we'll find celebrities out. We'll, and just we'll, ask them we'll find out when this has gone out but i'm guessing Ian right what is your favorite egg desert island egg dish and yeah. see what he comes up with and he'll make me cry he'll tell me some story and i'll be in bits you're gonna and have then to he'll improve... tell me about what eggs he likes you're gonna have to improve the sort of sultriness of your voice a lot to, to replace Lauren there because she's dare she's you. no because she's don't she's crazy now she doesn't sound like herself she's like yes and and then it's like come on, what what's what's the what's the tone you're going for now she's overdone <laughs> it she's over professionalized I want the old you know spiky punk Lauren of her she's over easied she's, she's over easied I want her to be uh a, let me say a, that <laughs> something I don't, I don't know. know this sounds like you're, don't know we're making like the metaphor bad metaphors yeah but um uh yeah no it's the best it is the best but i would uh you know as i say i don't i don't mess with marmite and for me it would be about as much butter as a soldier could carry and they were soldiers in my house which makes me think part of the uh, military establishment i'm like gi joe yeah snake eyes <laughs> you basically if you're from a military family that's what that yeah means. that's right you're basically that's what like, i am you grew up on a military base yeah i'm like uh yeah one of the gi joes I'm like Duke or someone. Uh, that's what he has on it when he has his soft boiled eggs. Uh, but again, there's such a familiar thing from childhood that I just cannot escape it. It's no, still fine. the best comfort food. I do find though, if I have two boiled eggs, I can't have one. One's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. If I have two, like I probably don't need to eat again till like dinner time. It's just like that will sit. One, not enough. Two, too many. I definitely eat a lot more food than you. I definitely eat two, and I've been known to eat three. Wow. Yeah, I can do three on a hungry day. That's like shredded wheat. But you see, I'm probably not having it for breakfast. Very rarely would I be having it for breakfast. Okay. Okay. Occasionally, I'll have it with the kids. See, so it'll be more like a dinner. Occasionally, I'll have uh, a couple for dinner, and it does feel like quite a sweet treat i've also got i should have brought them up i've also got uh, a pair of uh, egg scissors that uh you put on top of the egg the little teeth come out the circle twist the twist it and you can take the top off the egg absolute treat it's that that implement is the stuff of nightmares for any man oh yeah, yeah yeah it it's, does look it's, like it's uh, a vagina dentata it's, yeah it's, it's definitely of that thing but but also it's just one of those like it's one of those stupid objects that is irresistible. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You see it and you go, Oh yeah, I need that. Yeah. Like uh, <laughs> I've, I've never thing, used one now. You, An one absolutely pointless need. object. Yeah. yeah. Absolute pointless object. But when you see it you go, 
yeah, I, I need to have that. Um, I think we should talk about, <clears throat> especially when it comes to a boiled egg, a soft boiled egg, mm-hmm. is the the, uh, the the shiny Pokemon of um, of eggs, which is the double yokers. When you get a oh. double yoker and it's soft boiled, you're like, whoa, like this is this is the jackpot, you know? Yeah. It's obviously good when you get a double yoker in any situation. And the crazy thing with double yokers is when you get one, you're more like you're likely to get a few. Like the whole That's pack, what I was right? just about to say, yeah, right? That's when incredible. you get people like people react. I remember someone doing a thing on Twitter once where it was just going, This is wild. And it was a video of someone doing a double yoker, then getting another one. It's like this is like twins with IVF to me. This is like the, uh, the, the it just is much more likely to happen. Yeah, you get so you, like if you get one in a box, you might as well. There's a good chance you've got a few in that box. Yeah, don't use that box to make um, uh, meringues because no. you'd be throwing also, most of it away. Yeah, it just um, you might as well if you're going to have a double yoga. It just feels like, but it is it is always one of those lovely treats. It's a bit sort of four leaf clovery. It feels like lucky or something like, oh, this is a, what incredible stroke of luck I've got with my double yoga. Yeah. Oh, they're just, it's just a, it's a proper a magic. It's a proper jackpot. It's like, yeah, special prize, bully special prize. Uh, more egg facts. Mm-hmm. I never understood watching films as a kid. I never understood why Americans always had the eggs in the fridge. And mm-hmm. now I know that it's because they wash them for salmonella reasons and uh then that wears off some of their shelf life so then they keep have to keep it in the fridge whereas european eggs are not washed and uh have more natural preserving power or whatever so you can keep them up to like 21 days especially in the uk where since we had the salmonella stuff with chumba eggwina curry and everything mm-hmm. and um we uh, the chickens are inoculated against salmonella in the uk now so it's much safer well, uh, here's the thing. I always, I always, was always fascinated by that Americans always had those white eggs. Mm-hmm. It was like white eggs, what? And we have the more kind of pinky eggs. But recently, I've started to see a lot more of the white eggs showing up over here. Yeah, and the blue ones. Yeah, the blue ones. Oh yeah, the blue ones. The blue they're ones. quite fun. They're quite fun. But it, is, cost, it feels it like they are fun much. varieties. Yeah. Yeah. I get it's good to get them around Easter or something. Um, the other thing, you know, like how if you want to see if an egg is really bad and off, you can float it in a bowl of water. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That's, that's, that's I love that. Thing. That's good science. Like mm-hmm. the air cell is smallest when they're freshest and the air cell grows as they get older. And if it proper floats, you're like, get out of town. You're a bad egg. The pink eggs and the blue eggs, is that like a gender reveal party? Is that what that's like? <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's right. how that works. That's, that's right. how that works. That makes sense. This that unfertilized egg is a boy yeah, yeah, unfertilized yeah, yeah. egg. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just checking. It's not an egg. That's what I'm talking about. Egg science, guys. Egg, egg science. It's More an, egg science. It's an exact science. Um, t- I was looking up the thing, and uh, do you know, wh- have you ever heard of uh, cock eggs? Uh, are you smiling? What's <laughs> funny? Just- What's funny about Some, Sometimes when a chicken has just started laying eggs, its reproductive system lays a tiny yolkless zaddy egg. These eggs are common. This is a like, zaddy egg. Yeah, country people are just going to be like, yeah, they totally you know all this. But this is making yeah. me laugh. These eggs are common and usually nothing to worry about. The eggs can also be called. <laughs> yeah. Fart eggs, <laughs> cock eggs, fairy eggs, dwarf eggs, and witch eggs. So they're little tiny eggs. No, they're normal eggs. They have <laughs> no no yolk. They're just okay. And sometimes we will call them wind eggs, but this term more often refers to eggs without a shell or with a soft shell, and less often to eggs that are rotten or unfertilized. But fart eggs just <laughs> someone's got the. It's not good. That's a bad egg. It's a fart egg. Brilliant. <laughs> Love it. Thanks, country people. Eggs are magic, aren't they? They Incredible are, things. but I wanted to bring up a couple of bad eggs. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Pickled eggs, terrible. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, the only thing worse than pickled eggs existing is somebody next to you at the bar eating a pickled egg. 
<laughs> like within breathing distance. Do you know what? I, I really like the idea of a pickled egg. It, it, it fits in with, it sort of a, appeals to some sort of sensibility I have, except I'd never want to have one. Like the idea of it is like a, a thing that exists. I'm like, it, fit, it fits in with my worldview, except I don't want one. I the, don't ever want one. The worst I, combo, I wouldn't dare eat one. The worst combo you could have is sitting next to somewhere in a pub, trying to enjoy a pint, and they're eating pickled eggs and pork scratchings <laughs> together. That would be like, that's the worst pub <laughs> pub neighbour to have. Just egg and bacon. Just like egg and bacon there. It's just fine. Yeah, in their worst forms. But not their worst <laughs> forms, because the very worst form of eggs yeah. is dried eggs. Egg powder. Powdered eggs. That is the oh, right, worst yeah. thing in the world. Like, I don't... People, I don't know what people use them for now, but you know, what I mean, it was it was more of a thing, I think, in the war and stuff, and it was a you know it was a really good way of preserving them before. Nowadays, mm -hmm. for commercial stuff, you would have like frozen eggs. You don't, you know, you don't, yeah, you don't do the powder in the same way. But we used to have like you know, you used to find like some powdered egg somewhere, and people would have it in like cafes and stuff, you know, for preparing food and stuff, and absolutely disgusting stuff. Like if you took the lid off a powdered egg, a dried egg tub or whatever you know you'd inhale some of the particles from it and it would just be like oh geez that's the worst thing you know <laughs> where do you Terrible. stand on the long eggs you know the long eggs that they put in uh what are they scotch pies do you know they do that have you ever oh, oh it's worth long, looking it's a up. long egg oh they create an egg oh it's worth looking up on youtube guys long eggs on youtube they create this uh they basically make it artificially long um, to what, put like, in, like reconstitute. So, you know, like we get, Joe, you, know, you get those pies where you cut into them, and there's yeah. an egg. You get a bit, and you think, "All right, that's a pie." Well, actually, that comes from a long pie, and to do that, they have created like a long egg to well, put through it. Well, before they've cooked it, they've they've made a shape. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, and they they sometimes do it to do those kind of, do you know, like when they do sort of egg sausages almost. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like they sort of create it's like a stick things. of rock exactly like a stick of rock worth looking up it's quite a sort of uncanny um a bit kind of uh devilish diabolic creation the long mm. egg i'm not necessarily against it so it's not as made a, by a, a finished really product long chicken no a kind of chicken no. eel hybrid exactly it's not no, you right. think it is but it isn't like a kind of torpedo it's made by uh yeah i mean sometimes known as a cock egg <laughs> yes. or, or a fart egg <laughs> or a fart egg but uh, these are long mm. eggs worth worth looking up treat yourself guys probably the opposite long eggs. of a dwarf egg quail eggs can be nice but they're seriously um, like small <laughs> they're seriously small they're seriously impractical you know it's like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah you have all the same trouble of cooking an egg and shelling an egg or whatever however you do it for something only slightly bigger than a like mini egg cadbury's mm. mini egg there was a restaurant uh, i don't know if it's still there probably still there like i think one of those old london restaurants that was called simpsons on the strand mm -hmm. and i remember once like talking to my mum about oh what are they doing there my mum said oh they're it's famous for having like breakfasts and i was like oh like and it's like no what they're like famous for is you have like um soft boiled eggs and there I'd almost, I'd be quite interested to have a restaurant soft boiled egg mm. and see what that's like and how they could possibly do it differently. Where do you stand on a raw egg? I don't want to stand on a raw egg. I don't want nothing to do with a raw egg. They don't kill you unless you're really unlucky. You know? I mean, you can eat them. It's mm. not a problem. Like people act like it's like poisonous. It's not poisonous, but it, it might be, you know, there's much better chance it's not if you cook it, but raw egg no i don't want it like in a in like a in like a smoothie or something like if you're like mm. a weightlifter or a boxer or something i have a memory of asking my mum for raw egg when i was little mm. because i think i'd seen like rocky or something where he eats those raw eggs yeah and i think i'd i think i remember like trying to convince my mum and i can't remember whether she eventually relented and i had like half a mouthful of it and was like oh, oh or whether it was a thing where she just i mean more likely she just said no no you're not having a raw egg when i was at primary school some secondary school kids 
from uh, Highbury Grove School, any North Londoners will know what I mean. They, mm-hmm. they, they came over to the fence. They were outside the fence, the school fence, playground fence kind of thing. And they were like trying to get someone's attention to ask a question. This was not an unusual thing. You know, they'd be like, you know, can you take this to my brother? He's in whatever class, you know? So I went over and they were like, uh, excuse me, is there anyone in your school called one, two, three egg? And they all threw eggs at me and uh, yeah, raw eggs. And they all broke on the fence rather than on me so that what came through the fence was like flying liquid <laughs> egg and it went all on my head and face and clothes and um i wasn't that disturbed by it but i really didn't like being covered in raw egg and no. it's that kind of thing when they, you know it got taken up to the head's office or something it was all like do you want to report them do you think you could pick them out of a lineup because you know this, this the secretary school you know they'd have like a kind of mugshot gallery of all their kids like you can go through them and stuff i was like i'm not <laughs> bothered it's all right but um they were all going they were all going you know i mean uh i think it's really good for your hair and just like <laughs> what what eight-year-old boy cares that the the uh egg yolk egg white is good for their hair even that's probably not even true but it was just like nice no, yuck <laughs> You know, I've always it's been quite, quite sweet a in a way. person and just ugh. so yeah no, that's not that's, that's the not last good. interaction i had with raw egg you know mm. other than getting a little bit on my hands while preparing a meal yeah i really yeah. haven't indulged in it never had it back on my head since then same I, it wouldn't have made my top five for sure a raw egg i don't know if it would make anyone's top five i know let us know if raw eggs would make your top five maybe if if sylvester stallone is listening he could mm. be like, you know, like, mm. and you know, that would be exciting or anybody else, anybody else likes it. Maybe you like dried eggs, maybe you like egg powder. Maybe you're like, oh, just snort a bit of powdered egg. Love yeah. it. Maybe you like long egg, <laughs> long egg or fart eggs or, or witch eggs. eggs. I just wanted to add one thing about poached eggs. The ultimate poached egg is a poached egg that has been stolen from somebody else's hens rather than your own hens. Then it's like double poached. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's like exactly. that's like living the dream for poached egg. Poached squared. Poached, poached egg yeah. squared. Poached over poached. Shout out to the eggs. Top five eggs. Egg strong opinions. Strong egg opinions. Let us know. And if you're an egg hater and you couldn't listen to the episode, but you've just tuned in for the end, you know, sorry about that. We won't do eggs yeah. again. No, nah, we've already done chocolate eggs. Oh, that's something that's quite funny. Uh, someone my brother worked with, he thought that uh, um, he was talking about Sherlock and was convinced that the guy who plays Sherlock is called Ed's Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't. He's called Benedict Cumberbatch. His um... name is not Ed's, Ed's Benedict. But it's funny that he never got to the point where he went, no, it definitely can't be that. I will say it out loud. I like the idea of being called Eds. Eds. <laughs> Eds. Like plural. <laughs> like Suggs. Um, <laughs> any other plural Ooh. names? Top five plural names. Tegs. Suggs. Eds. Tegs. Tegs, Tegs is yeah, good. Tegs Ratcliffe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's a good one. Right. We're out. We've done with eggs. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>